Kembo Kembo Tata na Nzambi ya Mazulu Mpungu Tulendo so nini na nini somandla ngai morungu mwenenyaga depending on where you are i greet you no siemi betwa bombote bana ba yesolele molweni abantu ana abanguri saubona bana babao beto oswe mazuluini mure ega shana shangai na kenda moyoro mpo salama watoto wa mungu yes is that time we sit and rightly divide the word of truth guided by the wisdom of our ancestors for the ngolo by by the ngolo for the kembo of tata nanzambi ya mazulu mpungu tulendo yes the mighty one of ngemba gaiwa odinguna odheru gaiwa dayo this is going to be a short one because i want to clear up a trend i have seen we call ourselves descendants of akobi yakobi the son to isaka isaka son to abana sons and daughters of moon but let us understand what exactly it means to be of ye solely because I beseech you banaveto before you say it, be certain you know what you're talking about because knowledge without wisdom will only puff you up die to the ego die to this foreign doctrine seek understanding allow your mind to be led to that place it was conditioned not to go it's not an exercise in futility some may choose to call it the age of aquarius some may choose to call it the age of enlightenment some may choose to call it the reign of kwatulendo but i know it is the time of the mogai of my ancestors Gai wage koyo na mombi gai motora moyo who my people know so nini na nini somandla down south in the antotela they know him as tata na nzambi mpungu tulendo ya mazulu and yakubi went on his way and the maleki ma kongo met him when yakubi saw them he said this is guys host and he called the name of that place mahanaim or them that look i can take close attention and yakubi sent messengers before him to esau his brother and to the land of sair the country of edom and he commanded them saying that shall he speak unto my master isau thy servant yakubi says thus i have sojourned with laban and stayed there until now i have oxen asses flocks and men servants and we, women servants and i have sent to tell my somanla my my master that i may find grace in thy sight and the messengers returned to yakubi saying we come to thy brother isso and also he cometh to meet thee and 400 men with him i'm using reference to this book banabeto because it is what is commonly out there though it has been tampered with it contains elements of truth elements of truth which will only see if you're willing to allow your mind to be led to the place it was conditioned not to go this is a very powerful book if you have the wisdom 
But if you just have the knowledge, and it's just a book that placates your human ego, you read Psalms and you feel good. The ego is placated. I have worshipped the Most High in my own understanding, in my own physical essence. May we not fall. to that demographic, Banabeto. We have been awakened. Do not go back to sleep. This is a ladder. It's an ascension, as I will shortly demonstrate. And the messengers returned to Yakubi saying, we came to thy brother Esau, and he also cometh to meet thee, and 400 men with him. Then Yakubi was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that was with him and the flocks and herds and the camels into two bands and said, if Esau came to the one company and smote it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Yakubi said, O Somandla of my Tata, Abana, and the guy of my father, Isaka, and the Somandla, which say unto me, return unto thy country and to thy kindred, and I will deal well with thee. Return home. Sons and daughters of Yaakov, and he will dwell with you. And returning home, I've always explained this. First, you must know thyself. Reconnect with your ancestry and then perform whatever role it is or purpose. You were brought down to this earth. You chose to have this experience through your parents without getting into the complexities of the andromorphous nature of the soul. The bar. I am not worthy of the least of all the masses. Thy, understand this, I will have mercy, not sacrifice. He gives mercy. And all the truth which thou hast shown unto thy servant, for with my staff I passed over Jordan, and now. I am become two bands. On the crossing the river, there was a separation. Let those with understanding understand. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau. For I hear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. Remember, Yakubi and Esau were twins. Twins represent duality. Good versus evil. Maat versus Ububi, a pai pai. Odingu na Oderu versus Dahuna Megiro. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother. Deliver me from my twin. The chaos within and the chaos without. For from the hand of Esau, for I fear him lest he will come and smite me, and the mother with the children. The great mother, the mother mind, Mama Africa. And thou saidst, I will surely do thee good and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night and took of that which came to his hand, a present for Esau, his brother. 200 she goats and 20 he goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, 30 milch camels with their colts, 40 kine and 10 bulls. Kind refers to cattle. 
20 she asses and 10 folds. And he delivered them into the hands of his servant. Every drove by themselves and said unto his servant, pass over before me and put a space betwixt drove and drove. In this journey, you have to understand that though we are headed in the same place, some will have to go ahead of others. Some will have to scout the new land. The Caleb's have been given the understanding that they may hold up the lamp. For those who have not had the privilege of getting the understanding yet. Because remember, we all headed in one direction. And he commanded the former saying, when Esau, my brother, meeteth thee and asketh thee saying, where art thou and whither goest thou? And who are these before thee? Ungubani. Who are you? Then thou shalt say, they be thy servant, Yakubi. It is a present sent unto my, my, uh, my master, Esau. And behold, also, he is behind us. Dying to the lower animal self. And so commanded he the second and the third, and all followed the draw, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when you find him, and say ye more, moreover, Behold, thy servant Yakubi is behind us, for he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face preadventure, he will accept of me. So when the present over before him, and him himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his 11 sons and passed over the ford of Yabok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent them that, sent over that he had. And Yakubi was left alone. And there wrestled, now get this point, Banabeto. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. For we wrestle not against flesh, but spirits and principalities in high places. And when he saw that he had prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. That would be where the Kundalini spirit rests, the lower animal self, lust, greed. He received the divine touch at the base of his spine. And what happens when you receive the, the, the divine touch, when you die to the lower animal self? And he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? He said, Yakubi. And he said, thy name shall no more be Yakubi, but ye solele. Those that I have loved, the one that I have loved, the one that I have set apart the one that I have touched with my love. For as a prince hast thou power with Ngai, with men, and has prevailed. You have conquered set in the water. You have conquered the lower animal self. You have conquered greed, lust. Because this is, this is the flesh of man. Who is the son of man? The son of man is the soul in you. This flesh is just a receptacle. And when the soul enters this flesh, so do other components to keep the balance, the duality. We have gone through the testament of Asher and the testament of Yaounde. 
two spirits. One set against the other. And the law is meant to keep that balance. And Yakubi asked and said, tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, therefore, where is that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Yakubi named the place, named the place Pineal. The pineal gland, where the soul rests, where the physical body with the spiritual soul interacts with the spiritual person. The spirit that is in me is the spirit that is in you. So when I speak, you're able to understand these words because the spirit in you recognizes allows you to recognize these words. But now comes the element of thought. You know, some of, some of us have arguments in our head, arguments with our thought. And that's where religion comes from. When you argue with the thought, when you try to understand the divine with your lower animal self. Think of it this way. If you want to do a bad deed, the idea starts in your head. Thought is an energy. Thy. And Yakubi called the name of the place Pineal, for I have seen guys face, face to face, and my love is preserved. Now get this. None has been to heaven save the one who came from heaven. So where do you think you came from, son and daughter of moon? The Dogon will tell you it's the star Cirrus. But all the Dogon are telling you is Yamazulu, the cosmos, the universe. For Ngai so loved the universe that he gave his only begotten son. So they made you think that we were worshiping the sun. And this is going to come as a shocker. That sun you see up there, have you heard of Michaela? the one who watches over the people of Ngai. Or what they would call the great eye of Horus. What is the work of an eye? It's to watch. You see with your eyes. He sees life, photosynthesis, melanin. You decide. And Yakubi asked him, and say, tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Where, wherefore is that thou dost ask for my name? And he blessed him there. His pineal gland was opened. His dad eye was opened. Because if those are that understand the word of blessing, this is what the Mundele brought, because a blessing involves blood. So when people are blessing you, when they tell you they are blessing you, be very cautious, unless you know what has been said, there's a lot of information out there. You need to learn to decipher it. And Yakubi called, uh, okay, sorry. And Yakubi called the name of the place Pineal in reference to the Pineal gland. For I have seen guys face to face and my life is preserved. I have conquered set in the water and I have seen the light. The light that belongs to who? Mwene Nyaga. He who owns the light. And who is he that owns the light? Ngai Morungo. The I am that we are all under. The Tata. Nanzambi. Yamazulu. Mpungu. Mungu. Tulendo. The eternal one. And he passed over. Pineal, the sun rose upon him, the light, and he halted upon his die. Therefore, the children of Yisolele eat not the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh. The children of the chosen one do not partake of that of which is in the lower animal self. 
because that is fallen. It's a diminished version of the Netar in you. Don't you know you are like God? Kembo, Kembo, Tata Nanzambi, Yamazulu, Pungu Tulendo, so Nini Nanini, Somandla, Ngai, Morungu, Mwenenyaga. May your minds be led to the place they were conditioned not to go. I do not claim the entirety of the truth, but I know something you don't. Until next time, Dayo, Magubenjalo, Ingeta. Rise of a nation, sounds from a liberated Bantu. All praises to Sonini Narini. I'm Hedda Vanna Vermutu.